actually a better top now. Looks like it's more open as opposed to just being Frenchie's wall, warming up shuffly trot. <laughs> okay, so shoulder in. Yeah, and you should be able to release that inside rein. I'd give her another kick with the inside leg and I'd half out with the outside rein. Just to make sure she uses that inside hind leg and comes off the inside shoulder. Does that make sense? Yeah, because she's got to take you forward. She's still just wanting to back off a little bit there. Let's give her a couple of kicks forward. That's it. And then shoulder in again. Always use the short side to prep it. That's it. Yeah. Can you release the inside rein? Nearly. <laughs> Could be a little bit better. I mean, that's you. you should be riding from inside leg to outside rein there. Yeah. So, and just maybe keep, you know, this time keep the contact again with the inside rein. I mean, you can't ride the shoulder in, obviously, and give the inside rein if she's going to come up. Just keep working on riding her from that inside leg. Give her a boot with that inside leg. Say, so get off it. That's it. And then come again. Yeah, I mean, she's not allowed to run away from it. She's got to go into the outside. That's it. See, it had a little bag in it there. That's it. Lighter on that inside rein now, yeah? yeah. Good. One more, and then we'll change the rein. Yeah. Just check all the time that she's in front. That's it. Yeah. Good. Yeah. <laughs> well, strong. Yes. Yeah. I mean, she's not allowed to lean. She's got to carry herself, and she's not allowed to come against you. That's quite a mix of things to sort out. Yeah. <laughs> well, then that's why again your transitions within the pace come in. Do a shoulder in this way. And she's got to keep working from the back end, not like there. I'd say she's, I'd flex her a little bit to the right there. That's it, yeah. Because she's just sort of tightening again and leaning on that right rein. You want her into that outside rein. <coughs> and always on this rein, she decides it's canter's the easiest option. <laughs> That's it. So give her a little flex again. You know, always make sure you are moving her yeah, in the neck. Don't let her set herself. So just a bit more angle on this rein. She tends to just, yeah, I give her again, like you did on the other side, a couple of boots with the right leg as you're in the shoulder in. Just really get her off that leg. Go on, ruin this one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to ruin a couple to then get a good one. She needs to know what you want. <coughs> So, yeah, and then just give her a little flex through the reins again. Make sure you can, you know, because when she suddenly goes light, you don't want to then take a half hold on the rein and her go, actually, I'm just going to counter again. Because that's what she do. That's it. Really focus on a bit more left rein on the neck. Put squeeze with the, remember what I said about pressure? Put a bit more pressure on with that right leg rather than kicking her and then releasing. Squeeze. That's it. Squeeze. Make it consistent. There we go. A couple of boots of the legs, so get forward in it. Because <coughs> she was doing it properly then, she was backing off. Yeah. She doesn't want to use that leg. That's it. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. A little bit better on the angle there. And again. <coughs> yep, squeeze, squeeze, boot, squeeze, boot. <laughs> Especially when she starts backing off. Yeah? Forward. <coughs> Is this trot good enough? <laughs> it's a bit on like a little country ride. That's it. Yep, that's it. Okay, and then let her settle into a rhythm again. Yeah, just relax her now. Okay, now you can start doing your half pass. Just check it's not going too slowly and doesn't have the activity. It doesn't need to be fast, but the hind legs need to be working. Not bad at all, actually. Yeah, and then forward, turn left, go large. Let's do one from the center line A. So, so just flex her a little bit, make sure she's not on the reins. I mean, that's something you can do. She's not going to come off the rein with you just ha you know, having the outline there. You have to flex her a little bit. That's it, yeah. Little kick with the left leg. Kick her with the left leg again. Come, up off that left shoulder. 
<coughs> ja. Yes. <laughs> On the aid, not quite on the right one. <laughs> okay, let's come and do the half pass again. <clears throat> exactly. First things first with her, make sure that trot stays forward. Just drop her through that right rein a little bit. That's it. Yeah. Ooh, a few passage steps there. Give her a kick forward down the long side. And then we'll do another one from the centre line. We've just got to stop it from dying out at the end. Just because she just gets a little bit backwards <clears throat> on the rein and through the lateral work, we've got to keep her thinking forward. Forward, forward, forward and over, forward and over, forward and over. That's it. Yeah, give her a kick again. The right side. Yeah. Wow, she curls round your right leg. <laughs> The left side, you'd probably be worth having the whip in the left rein to keep her off that left shoulder. Because as soon as she sees the track, she loses all angle, slows down, and then sort of peters to the, um, to the side, rather than keeping off of that left shoulder. I think it's the left leg. She's not as quick off, is she? Okay. And then centre line. Right, now work for it. Give it, give it a tap on the shoulder. That's it. Oh, yeah, hello. Well, now we're going a bit more sideways. We're not running to the track so much. Oh, that's okay. Okay, right, and then go large again. Do the one to the right. <coughs> she's got to stop questioning you and start listening. Oh, she's got to concentrate on you. So, Yeah, that side's a lot easier. But still, we've just got to keep that rhythm going right to the end. Right, and then come and do another one to the left. Just give her a flex through the neck here. A little bit, think a little bit of shoulder in. Get her off that left leg. That's it. Did she react when you did a, when you tapped her? That's it. Yeah, keep the roundness. Keep the roundness. Well done. Okay, patter. She does find that side harder. Go large. Do a half pass from K to the centre line. So you've got one in front of the camera as well. Yeah. Keep that energy. Do not be afraid to go after her again. Keep the left hand a little bit con more contact on the left rein. I said to keep the roundness. That was more of a travers towards the end. Started off a half pass and then went a little bit quarters trailing. So it was a bit more of a travers. So just be careful of that, okay? Go and do another one to the left. Get after her now. I really want to see you. Give her a couple of boots and say, right, we are doing this half pass. This is where we're going. This is what we're doing. And ride it because she can do it. It's not a problem. She can do it. She just get, yeah, exactly. Right, give her a couple of. That's it, yeah, right, okay. Right, now you've had a little sort out. Now go and do a proper one. <laughs> you knackered yet? <laughs> not speaking to me. Right. Centre line, over to H. Point her head in that direction. Stop working so hard, but make what you do effective. Or to the centre line even. That's it. Soften her. Don't let her come against you. Exactly the same in the other transitions. Yeah. yeah. Whew, breathe. That's it. And now is that you're putting her into trot and you're saying, right, get forward in the trot. Yeah, drop the right rein a little bit. Get the roundness. Yes. Yeah, exactly. See, she can go sideways all the way across. Yeah. She might be swishing her tail, but she can bend round your inside leg. You just have to say to her, yes, you can do it. Now get round my inside leg and bend. Yeah. <clears throat> Give her a tap on the left hind leg. Give her a little tap with a stick. Yeah, little, yeah, exactly, a little tap again, ah, tap again, go on, tap again, that's it, nice changes, Frenchie. Right, okay, back to trot again, just say react, a bit. yes, whoa, different horse now, <laughs> right, bend and go, yep, drop the right rein, yep, drop it down, yes, there we go, now not too much quarters first, now she's overreacting to your right leg, that's all right, so then you release the pressure, but she's got to keep going forward. Take it to the centre line if you need to. Get the quality of it. Yeah. Right, come on, one more. <clears throat> Change the rein. 
Get a good left half pass. The right one's fine, you can do it with your eyes shut. Because you're more confident in it, because you're more comfortable, because she's more around your inside leg. Right, go down there, centre line at A, half pass to H. Okay, and I want a damn good one. <laughs> and I want it to stay forward, in the rhythm, no backing off you. <clears throat> so really make sure she's in front of you. Flexor, don't let her come above the bit. Keep dropping her head. Drop her head down. Yes, now ride the front end, ride the front end. That's it, ride the front end, ride the front end. There you go. Well done. Yeah, so she's ready to go now, you see? And then it's just keeping her in the walk. <laughs> Once you hot her up, it's making sure she does walk. And don't forget, to, I know you practice the walk anyway, but don't forget to practice it. So just do a circle there. I want you from the centre line to the side. <clears throat> yep, go on, yep. And remember, if it's just the right rein, it's right rein, right leg, both legs forward, <clears throat> right. Let's have a good one this way. Half hold, left rein, keep the roundness, keep the roundness into the contact, over you go, over you go, over you go. Good, easy. Yeah. Eyes shut, off you go. <laughs> no you don't, you sit there and let it happen. Yeah. Because you position her, right? And you say, right, this is what we're doing. That's a nice trot. Yeah, it feels nice. Yeah. Good. Just trot large like that, and then we'll pick up the counter. So then we've got, you know, it's not fast, but it's engaged. She's steady in the contact. Good. <clears throat> right. Okay, flex her through a little bit, and then let's do a shoulder in down the long side in the counter. Make sure she's not hanging. <laughs> she got a tell in there. <clears throat> Drop her neck a little bit. Don't let her come up against you. Keep squeezing a little bit with the reins. Little half holts just to soften her. Yeah. As soon as she comes up against you, you've lost the back end. That's it. Get a bit stronger if you need to. Stronger with the half holts and say, get your head down here. Stop coming up at me and use your back end. Yeah. Soften her. Bend her left. Don't be afraid. Yes. Don't be, you know, exactly. You can tell every time she does it right, she has a barney about it because she's got to make more effort. Yes. And as soon as you touch the rain, she's saying, get off, mother. Uh, no, I'm having this rain and I'm doing it. <laughs> Shut her in. Bend her left. She's got plenty of angle. Bend her left. That's it. Go on. Yeah, make her bend through the body that way. She has to. Yes, yeah, she gives you enough angle. She's, yes, exactly. And now she's losing it because she's got to work harder. Do it again. Much better. Don't let her come up against you. Get the angle right and then flex her a little bit. Play the neck. You can do bits of rhombo as well. You can bend her through to the right. That's how flexible you want it to be. So when you're in the shoulder in, you can flex her through. Yeah, yeah. Go on, keep riding it. Yes, well done. Yeah, keep making the effort, Frenchie. I know it's hard. One more shoulder in. And then come and do a centre line and a half pass. That's it. That was more settled. Yeah, exactly. Whoop, balance, balance. <laughs> Bend, half hold, right rein. There you go. Keep riding for the... F that's it. Ride, 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 ride. Just a little bit rounder through the outside rein. Would have made that better. Okay, yeah. Okay? So make sure you, you're able to work the neck in different places. Don't always keep it too high in a competition outline. Sometimes drop it over and ride her forward and let her have a little stretch. And then sometimes bring her up again. Obviously for the half pass, she just needs to be round and soft in the neck, not against you. Right, so let's go centre line from A and half pass to the left. So keep her straight down there. Bend, have more balance on this turn this time. Now you've got... A bit more energy and bend, take the front end. Don't tap her again, don't tap her again, just ride it. Yeah, see, I would have probably booted her with both legs and said, right, come on, take me forward. Come across the diagonal again. And I'd give her a little boot now just to make sure she's there. Yep, yeah, exactly. she is sharp enough. She's just making you do all the work, Catherine. Centre line, bending. Give her a boot now and say, get forward. Right, now soften her in that half pass. Yep, yeah. yep, yeah, bend, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. That was better, wasn't it? Again and just say, right, stay forward. Sit in the middle and go. Dink, dink, lovely, sit in the middle. There you go. Sorted.
Uh, don't over flex her to the left on that counter counter. Just keep a little bit of flexion, but you can see she just finds it hard. So then she'll start tilting on the right shoulder. So to keep her a little bit more upright, just keep her a wee bit straighter. But that was better. Yeah, it felt better. Yeah. Make sure you just drop her a little bit rounder here. So I just like to see her, that's it, tiny bit rounder. Yeah. That's it. Get the left leg back a little bit more. Just so you encourage her to be a bit more parallel. Come back across the diagonal. I mean, you just sit there. I can't hear any legs flapping at all in that one. <laughs> and just relax in your upper body a little bit. Don't look too stiff. Yeah. Go with her. Sit back a little bit with the left leg. Yeah. So I just bring it back a fraction just to encourage her to be a little bit more parallel in the counter this way. So come and do another one. Says I'll do one to the left. <laughs> yeah. So it's soften. Yeah. The transitions are getting a little bit um, more on the edge. Yes, definitely. Right. Okay, let's nail this one, all right? Make sure she's round, you stay relaxed in the body and just draw the left leg back a fraction. Not too much, but just enough to get that. Half hold, left rein, left leg. Half hold, left rein, left leg. There we go. Half hold, left rein, left leg. Yeah. You just have to keep her off that shoulder. Good. Although it's easier for you to ride, it doesn't mean you can't perfect, cannot perfect it, if you know what I mean. So, <laughs> that was a bit of a exuberant transition. Woo! <laughs> See what I mean about the quarters? Yeah. So I would just soften her a little bit more to the right. Yeah. And just, as I said, bring the left leg back a fraction just to get the quarters. Don't, don't let her lose balance on the turn. That's another thing you have to work on. <coughs> Keep her rounder. Drop the neck. Drop the neck. That's it. And then left leg back a little. Half hold, left rein, left leg. Yeah, half hold, left rein, left leg. Yeah, can, you Can you see it? Yeah. That's why I'm just trying to get a little bit more perfection on that half pass. Come and do one more. Just be a bit more confident with that left leg. Because you think it's easy, I think you sort of are a bit too relaxed with the left side sometimes, uh, left leg sometimes. Get a bit more like, right, this is where we're going. That's it, little half hold, left rein, left leg, half hold, left rein, left leg. That's it, well done. Keep it, keep it, well done. Yeah. Good. Good, yeah? yeah? what you're saying to her count don't get like little oh uh, not sure not sure you know how to ride a half pass now you've had a lesson on schoolmaster as well which helps and just be a bit more confident about what you're trying to tell her and I think if you're a bit more confident then she'll absorb that and go oh well, well right okay I've got to do this rather than going oh I'll just slow down here because it's a bit easier yeah. <laughs> and then by the time you get to the end you've got no energy isn't it? and you'll see it on the video as well it getting better, which would be good for you to assess. And you've got, you know, you've got bits of canter that you can... I mean, you know what her rhythm's like. Oh, Craigie. <laughs> See how sharp she is? It's lovely. <laughs> She's like, I'm off. Did you touch her then, or was it me flapping? Oh, right, OK. Well, that's good. And then you teach her to walk <laughs> again, because <laughs> she's a bit sharper. But, yeah. And that's good. That's what she needs. Yeah. And think about how she is like now and get it at the beginning. <laughs>